All right, Shalom. Shalom. <clears throat> First off, and for most as always, I want to say, call him La Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor be unto the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. And of course, Shalom to you, Anki, I'm out there that's pushing the truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Okay, so this is going to be, a, um, you know, a quick uh, impromptu, you know, an open forum lesson. You know, I didn't have any uh, precepts, you know, written down. So, you know, I wanted to just, you know, roll the spirit, of course. You know, just basically touch on, on how we're living in beautiful times, you know. You know, it's beautiful times for us, you know, for us, you know, servants. You know, us men of the Lord, you know, and also too, you know, the, uh, the, the faithful believers, you know, and also too, you know, you, you feel women out there, you know, that are, you know, um, serving the Lord as well, you know, whatever you, whatever, uh, your lot may be. Okay. You know, but hey, man, it's a very beautiful time to be in this truth, you know, because Hey, man, we're living in the last days of the last days, you know, and there's a lot of things going on, ramping up. You know, you have the uh, the uh, MOTB, you know, talks in the MOTB is definitely, you know, heightened, you know, definitely heightened. You know, you had uh, Elon Musk, you know, uh, he just recently um, put the Neuralink C-hip, you know, inside uh in somebody's brain recently, which was, I believe, uh, yesterday or a couple of days ago, you know, so, you know, the MOTB, you know, that's soon going to become mandatory, you know, and then also too, you know, the, uh, the talks of civil unrest, you know, civil war, you know, um, Egyptian versus Egyptian. Okay. You know, th these things are, you know, soon going to happen. Okay. And let's not forget about, you know, World War Three. You know, it's going there, you know, over there between, you know, Amalek uh, and, you know, Ishmael, you know, and and now other nations are starting to, you know, get involved. OK, so, you know, we're witnessing, you know, not only these prophetic events, but the downfall of, you know, Esau Eden, because these prophetic events are going to lead up to his downfall. OK, and ultimately. What we're looking for is uh, the return of Yahweh Shai, okay? Because that's going to be the day of our deliverance, okay? The day, you know, when we'll be delivered into a, a, a mighty heavenly chariot, okay? But real quick, you know, slacky for me, you know, my rambling, but let me get this quick precept. Okay, this is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2 and verse 1, and it says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. Right. You know, we're in our watch, you know, because that's part, you know, of our job of being the servant of the Lord, you know, especially a teacher, a prophet, you know, an evangelist, the bringer of the gospel. You know, we have to constantly, you know, be in the watch for pro for the prophecies, you know, and. And warn, you know, our people, you know, and 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 so that way the blood's not on our hands. Okay, as is written in the book of Ezekiel, the third chapter, you know, we gotta eat this robe, meaning this word, you know, reading, studying, watching the watching the prophecies, measure the measuring the time diligently, you know, eating this word, you know, and then go teach unto the house of Israel. You see? Verse two, and it says and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision, and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Right. You know, the vision meaning what? The prophecies. OK. You know, the vision, a.k.a. the prophecies, you know, is bound to happen at an appointed time. And we're living in that point in time. All right. That's why he says right here. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Meaning what? Meaning that, you know, the, uh, 
Meaning at the end, okay, we're going to see these prophecies be fulfilled. Okay. And guess what? We're at the end. Okay. There's only a few more prophecies left. Okay. Meaning at the end, that these, uh, meaning that when it says it shall speak, meaning that they're going to be fulfilled, they're going to happen. Okay. And, and soon, you know, because right now, you know, even though, you know, the prophecies didn't, you know, happen fully, you know, but we're starting to see the prophecies come off the pages and, and manifest into, you know, reality. Because ultimately, you know, prophecy is reality, you know, but people, you know, they don't want to accept, you know, that reality. OK, but hey, people are going to have to accept it one way or another because it's going to because someone's going to be at your front door. OK, just like how I said, let's get that real quick. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24. And. Verse 32, and it says. Now learn a parable of the fig tree when his branch is yet tender and putteth forth the leaves. Ye know that summer is not right. Verse 33. So likewise, ye. When ye shall see all these things, know that it is near even at the doors, meaning that it's close, you know. So when you see, you know, wars and rumors of war, you know, more talks about the MOTB civil unrest. You know, more talks of chariot sightings and, you know, um, signs in the heavens like a, a, a solar eclipse or blood moon. Just know that we're at the end. You see, just like how, you know, uh, what, you, what how I just said it, you know, I read it again. Matthew 24 and verse 32. It says, now learn a parable of the fig tree when his branch is yet tender and put it forth the leaves. You know that summer is nigh, you know, just like how. Um, if you start to see, you know, flowers blossom, you know, after winter, you know, then you know that spring, you know, is here or, or, or spring, you know, is, is, is about to happen. You see, so when we see all these things, you know, that we see in the articles, you know, the news, things that that regards privacy. OK, just know that it is near at your doors. OK, so back in the book of Habakkuk, chapter <clears throat> two and verse three, and it says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end, okay, at the end, meaning the end days, it shall speak. Speaking means to manifest, right? To happen, be to become a pass, right? And not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. And why want it tarry? Because Okay, because the the, the uh, prophecies, you know, have been written, you know, when which is gonna come to pass, regardless. Okay, and a lot of people, you know, that's in Babylon, you know, they have, you know, this thought in the back of their heads that Babylon's gonna, you know, keep prolonging. Okay, but let's be honest here, you know, Babylon, you know, Babylon's done. You know, Babylon is just, you know, living off of a thread. You know, it's only a matter of time until Babylon's water pops. OK, because we're in a time of prophecies being fulfilled. You know, we're in a time of of war, you know, the time of judgment. OK, and a lot of judgment is about to, you know, be bestowed upon, you know, Babylon and upon the inhabitants in the Babylon. OK, because the people that, that's out here in Babylon, that's not the truth. That's just, you know, partying, bullshitting, you know, just like the days of Lot and Noah. You know, hey man, they have no clue. They have no idea. You see, that's why, like I always say, they're going to get blindsided by a prophecy. Okay, but us in the know, you know, like I said earlier, you know, we're living in beautiful times. You know, us, you know, us believers, us servants, prophets of Yahweh by Shmuel Shai, we're living in beautiful times. Okay, because we are witnessing the the downfall of our enemies, the downfall of Esau, Edom, the downfall. Of this last captivity, okay. Real quick, I'll grab that. Okay, this is the book of Sirach, uh, 25 and uh, 7. It says, There be nine things which I have judged mine heart to be happy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children, right? You know, because hey, man. 
you know, having children, you know, the, hey, that, that's a gift from the most high. You know, but right now on this side, you know, we can't fully enjoy them because we're in captivity. We're in hell. You see? But in our kingdom, you know, we're going to, you know, enjoy, you know, uh, our children. You know, we're going to see them grow up, you know, and see their children's 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 children grow up, you know, so on and so forth. Because we're going to rule for all eternity. Okay? And it says, a man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy, okay? And amen, you know, in 2024, you know, it was deemed by the elder prophet Zahar through his spirit, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, okay? And just like the elder prophet Zahar always says, Jacob's trouble is, is Edomite trouble, okay? So, so that's what we're hoping for. We're hoping to see the downfall of, of our enemy, you know, which is going to be in our lifetime, in your lifetime. Best believe that. OK, because Babylon is is is, is falling. Babylon is, like I said, is, is living off of a thread. OK, it's, it's on his last breath. OK, so we're living in beautiful times, you know, to see these prophecies be fulfilled. All right. And best believe they shall be fulfilled, man. This is the book of Second Edges, chapter 15. And verse um, uh, one, and it says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shai. Right. You know, and that's, what, and that's what we're commanded to do. We're commanded to go out there in the highways and byways, you know. And now, of course, we're on the YouTube, you know. Uh, you know, we do our sit downs, our lessons, right. But also, too, you know, we're commanded to go out there in the public. You know, you know, the streets, the highways and byways, you know, to push the Lord's word. OK, because the word church, it means to call out. And that's what we're doing. We're calling out. We know we're warning, you know, Jake, you know, and also, too, you know, we are, you know, uh, giving the heathen their judgment, you know. So everybody is getting getting warned. All right. But right here, mainly is, is, is for our people of privacy. You know, we're speaking privacy in, in the areas of, my, of, of the Lord's people. Our people, who is the Israelites, okay, who was today being called, you know, by the bywords of so of uh, so called Negro, you know, Latino, you know, Native and similar to Indian, okay. So, hey, that's our people, and we, you know, our uh, and the Lord is using us as a mouthpiece, okay, to warn His people to to speak the heirs, you know, of excuse me, to speak privacy in the heirs of our people, but only. You know, the elect is going to take heed you know, because there's a prophecy of two thirds that's going to be, you know, destroyed here on this side here in Babylon. You see, verse two, and it says, and caused them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true. OK, talk about what, you know, the Holy Scriptures, the Bible. OK, every word, you know, the prophecies that, that we read about are going to come to pass. OK. You know, they're definitely going to come to pass, man. You know, and there's a lot of people, you know, that, that don't believe in the prophecies. But guess what? Soon people are going to realize that prophets were among them. Okay? This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 33. And verse... Um, Let me start at... I'm going to start at verse 30. Ezekiel 33 and verse 30, and it says, Also, thou son of man, the children of, of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses. And speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that cometh forth from the Lord. You know, you got a lot of Jakes that, that uh, know about the truth. You know, they may... You know, go on the comment board and say whatever they got to, you know, whatever BS they got to say. You no, know, they, 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 you know, they, they talk, you know, about the truth, you know, and, you know, but they, they really don't, how can I put it? They, they don't care, you know, because, it, because to a lot of our people, it may seem like a trend or, you know, uh, something that's just, um, 
Well, yeah, exactly. A trend, you know. So a lot of our people don't take this serious. But this is very serious. This is deadly serious, you know, because this truth, you know, uh, you know, having faith in, in, in the names of Yahweh about Shema Shai, that can gain salvation, you know. It's because if you're not in this truth, hey, regardless, then you're going to, hey, you're done. But if you're in this truth, you know, and you're serving the Lord with, with all sincerity and truth, you know, then you have a great chance at salvation, you know. But a lot of our people, they just want to, you know, you know, F around and BS and take this truth for granted, you know, and, you know, and speak lightly of it. A lot of Jake's know, you know, and, and, and it's like about, me, you know, the rant, but I got a quick testimony. Uh, there was a one time um, I was at the, uh, you know, because I, I like basketball. I was at the courts with uh, one of, you know, the beloved brothers, and we overheard uh, one, a couple of Jake's uh, saying um, it was about us. And I was like, I, uh, well, this is what I heard. I heard the, the Jake say uh, um, something about Hebrew Israelites. And then the Jake was like, yeah, who hasn't, you know, uh, heard about them or, or who hasn't, you know, seen them? You know, so Jake, no. OK, so Jake is out here just knowing, you know, by the truth, you know, but hey, they're not taking action. You see, so a lot of Jake's are going to get, you know, caught of guard by privacy. Thinking that this truth is just something that just, you know, fly by night. Okay. So this is Ezekiel 33 and, and 30, 31. And it says, And they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they would not do them. Right. A lot of Jake's hear them, but they're not going to do them. You know, a lot of Jake's drive by, beat the horn. You know, a lot of Jake's, you know, um, walk by, you know, they seize but ignore us. You know, and of course, now, of course, you know, hey, you know, we're not tripping if Jake walked by because we know that the Lord directs a man's steps. The Lord is going to allow that person to stop or to keep going. It's all the Lord's will. So we're not phased by that, you know, but just know that a lot of Jake's walk by the truth, you know, and, and, and look at the truth, you know, whether it be in public or in the or on YouTube. Just know that a lot of Jake's are being marked, you see. So they hear the words, you know, but they're not going to do them. OK, you know, but hey, we told you. So the blood is off our hands pursuant to the book of Ezekiel, the third chapter. OK, and it says for with their mouth, they shew much love, but their heart, meaning their mind, goeth after their covetousness. And lo, thou art unto them as a very ple as a very lovely song of one that had the pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument. For they hear thy words, but they do them not. Verse 33. And when this coming to pass, here's the point. Verse 33. And when this come to pass, lo, it will come in the prophecies. You know, going back to the title, we're living in very beautiful times because we know the prophecies are going to come to pass. Okay. It's a guarantee. It's already written down. Okay. And the book of Isaiah says that the Lord, the, uh, the words of the Lord it's not going to return unto him void, you see? And it says, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet or prophets, should I say, because you have many brothers. There's a many brothers around. Starting off with the elder apostles of Great Millstone, you see? Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. Okay, so people are going to know, you know, what we were saying through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemal Shai was definitely true because we are saying the words that, you know, that, you know, that, you know, because what we're saying is the words of the Lord, you know, just like, you know, you go to, for example, uh, let's say the book of Jeremiah, you know, uh, everything that Jeremiah said, the Lord told him to say, you know, the Lord is using his men to get his message across. Okay. Yahweh Bashem Shai is using his servants of prophets to get his message across, but people are not going to take heed. But the elect will, of course, you see. But when these things get going, when shit is the fan, when there's a when, when there's a, a blackouts and you know just all out doom and gloom and just judgment on the streets of Babylon, people gonna know that prophets were truly am, uh, uh, among them, you see. But once they realize that, it's gonna be too damn late. All right, that's why he says. You know, um, uh, seek the Lord, you know, why, why he may be found, 
you know, call upon him while he's near. And now is the time to call upon him because we're living the last days of the last days and that door of mercy is still open. But soon that door of mercy, hey man, hey, he's going to be shut. You know, so hey, get it while it's hot, you know, and just, hey man, just, <laughs> hey, repent. You know, it's all going to say, man, repent the names of Yahweh, Bashim, Shai, Bashim, Kagwadash, you know, and just, hey, hope for, hope for the best. And that's what we, and that's what we all can do. We know we we have hope in the Lord, faith, patience, because hey man, it's gonna get really bad. You know, now I know of course we say it, but it's gonna get really bad. It's gonna get extremely sour and you know, in the streets of Babylon, you know. So with that being said, I just want to say call name La Yahweh, Bahashemi, Hawashai, Bahashem or Kakwadash. Double honor being to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. And Shalom to the Ankim out there, the sincere Ankim out there that's pushing his truth through his spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashemi, Havashai, Bahashem, and Kakwadash. Shalom to the elect, the 144,000. With that being said, Shalom.